This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Hey, stop pinging on me! Sorry, that was a really long one. It's so embarrassing! There, there! Isn't that what childhood friends are for? They're the best, aren't they? For punching? But that will have to wait until we're off the crime scene. You can't just save me from the scary man! Sure, if you're willing to make amends, starting with your incredibly embarrassing mistake. That, that, that wasn't me! Come again. It's a fake! Someone's out to get me, so they made that fake letter! To set me up! Accept your defeat graciously! But, you guys are being so mean! Penmanship analysis. What's that? No matter who, all people have certain unique features to their handwriting. Ergo, all we have to do is compare the handwriting in this letter to a sample of yours. And we'll know soon enough who it was that sent the letter. I... I... I I'll never write another feat in my life! <laughs> it's no use, Mr. Loving Knight. For you've already graciously provided me with a sample of your handwriting. I'll write the autograph! <laughs> the knife. <laughs> the knife! <laughs> you remember this, don't you? <laughs> no! But if you're giving it to me, I'll take it. As if I'd give this to you! Oops, wrong piece of- oops, wagon spill. This autograph and our mysterious letter. If we compare the handwriting, we'll know the answer to our question soon enough. Confess now, Larry, to your miserable failure. I, I'm sorry! I, I, I did it. It was me causing trouble again. I killed everyone. I admit it. You hit the nail right on the head. And gee, what if he actually was the killer? That would be an insane twist. That'd be fun. So, and then later he's just... Because this is in between game. <laughs> well, no, this is after Trials and Tribulations and he wasn't in Apollo. Oh, okay. That so, fun. he finally confesses. I saw the pink princess being carried around in a stretcher and got worried, alright? I wanted to go into Mindy's room, but the doctors wouldn't let me in. So what choice did I have? It was the chimney or Boston, <laughs> Your mind jumped from the door to the chimney? What a criminally overactive imagination. Well, at least I was honest and wrote Mindy a letter and stuck it under the door. That way she wouldn't be so shocked when it came down from the chimney. Except for the fact that the letter was an utter failure at conveying such sentiment. I'm really, really sorry. Larry, you may be a shameful good-for-nothing blight on the face of humanity. <laughs> However, I always knew you weren't the killer. I told you to trust me. Because at the very least, I can attest to that about you. Edgy, you're dead. We've lost a lot of valuable time because of you. It's true. No. Yeah, we had lost an entire hour of an episode because of you. <laughs> In any case, I believe we can say that we now know exactly what happened. Mr. Larry Butt sought to climb down from the chimney, not for access to the crime scene but to enter the room of the elderly lady next door. Great job, Mr. Prosecutor. Although, I still find it a bit unbelievable that the two of you were friends. But the suspicion on that guy over there isn't completely resolved yet, so don't get any funny ideas about running off, okay? Oh! Hey, what? Edgy, what does the wolf man mean when he says I'm not off the hook yet? He means the murder weapon. Larry, did you forget? There are two layers of suspicion hanging over your head. That's exactly what I mean. We can't only rely on the words of the suspect, after all. We may have figured out where he was and what he was doing all night, but the bloodstained samurai story that was left at the crime scene, as well as there's no satisfactory explanation for that, this wolf will refuse to ease up on his bite. <laughs> Edgy, that guy, he looks like he's seriously about to take a bite out of me! I'm well, well, I'm well aware, and you should be as well, because of that this upcoming battle will be crucial. Thanks to the cooperation of our lovely Bumbler, I've been dealt a very nice hand and a sweet trump card. Looks like we're about to enter the final bout. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, let's see what you've got. I can easily point out the contradiction in the supposed murder weapon. But the real problem for me is figuring out what the real murder weapon is. This will be a high-stakes gamble, but this is one game I can't afford to lose. Always. Why, Larry? I was the one who found the body of the victim to mask, too. 
Beside him was the samurai sword, glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. It was supposed to be in the steel samurai's dressing room, but I found it here instead. Wait, what killed the guy? Was it blunt force trauma to the head? Uh, do we have the autopsy? I don't think we do. <gasps> Wait, can we look at the profiles? It won't was say, he it won't stabbed? Say he was hit on the head, I think. He was hit on the head and maybe stabbed, and maybe there was blood. I have an idea there was what blood happened. For sure. Plus, I, know, I, found... I think I know what happened. Plus, I found the murder weapon's owner, the suspect, Larry Butts, in here, too. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty important. It's the statue in the room. Oh, you think so? Because it moved. And I think there was a struggle or something, and he got thrown into it. And it's it. like, you can't look at that. That's an no, actual it's, treasure. It's like, you know the weird Cupid statue? It's like if you got thrown into the arrow portion, it would hurt. And yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So I think that would be what it would do. Isn't it a bit far-fetched to accuse someone simply on the basis of ownership? But this owner wanted to sneak onto the crime scene. I think that's plenty to go on, don't you? If you're alluding to his reason for being by the chimney, we've already established that. Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. You two are longtime friends, right? Who's to say you didn't fabricate the evidence to give him an alibi? You're accusing me of fabricating evidence? You think I can believe anything you produce? Forging evidence is all you prosecutors do. This man has some serious issues with prosecutors. But come on, I can't think of something as complicated as that, right, Edgy? Larry, I can agree because I know you and your personality well. However, Agent Knight knows nothing about you, or me for that matter. I sense his hatred for my entire profession emanating from his entire being. Meaning that the only way I can prove Larry's innocence is to present irrefutable evidence. Very Larry. Why Larry? Oh. Wow, my eyes are really bad today then. So, you were the first to discover the body this time. This time? What's that supposed to mean? You better watch what you say. I only said this time because earlier Kay was the first to discover the body in Babal, and your secretary, Agent Sheena, was ready to accuse her of murder for that. Ha! So are you going to try to use that excuse to call me suspicious now? Of course not. I was simply pointing out that the usual pattern with discoverers of bodies. But in the Babalese case, there was proof that she was holding the weapon, right? Well, in this one, it's a bit different since we know exactly where the weapon is. Beside him was the samurai sword, glittering red. Excuse me, but glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. Do I have to spell it out for you? I mean the sight and smell of blood, of course. And according to the test, the blood of the sword belongs to the victim. The sword was made to only be used on stage, so it's no, not sharp. But it is pretty weighty. It's certainly heavy enough to beat someone to death with. Which leads me to suspect that the victim was beaten to death with the sword. Beaten to death, huh? Since that statement is too important to just let it slip by. Beside him was the samurai sword covered in the victim's blood. So the sword is covered in the victim's blood? Yeah, the lab results confirm that the blood on the sword matches the victim's. Forensic Sky to the rescue! Forensic Sky came in and decided to test the blood. <laughs> but the sword is as dull as the vanilla envelope. It's just a stage prop after all. The steel samurai is all about safety first, you, so you can't use it like a real sword. <laughs> One of the people, like the forensics guys, like all the guys look exactly the same. One of them should be a girl that just looks exactly like all the other guys, but it's like a different voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the uh, girl pirate with the beard and the pirates. Yeah. Or, kind of or like, movie. what's her face? Um, blah, blah, blah. I can't think of her name. In Liberty's Kids, um, was it Whoopi Sarah? Goldberg that played her? Oh yeah! You remember her? It was like the girl yeah. who dressed up as a soldier. She was super cool. Why was it? Why? Why can't I remember I mean, her name? Sam. I can't remember her name. Sam? Sal? Sam, I think. Sam? Sam Giant? Like, it was like a yeah. really cool name. And like, she was super epic. And then they were like, oh, sustained a wound. And then it was exactly like the Mulan. The scene, yeah. The yeah. Mulan scene. <laughs> the Steel Samurai has spoken. The Pink Princess also appears to have something she'd like to petition to you personally. What, what the Pink Princess would like to say can wait for the day after eternity! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my point is that even though the sword is too dull to slice with, it's certainly heavy enough to bludgeon someone to death with. Therefore, I suspect he beat the victim to death with that thing. About the samurai sword, have you received a report from forensics yet? 
They confirmed that the blood on the sword belongs to the victim, Casino. Alright, but they have they confirmed that the outline of the wound is consistent with the weapon? Tell me something, do you see the dead body right there in front of you? So, if they were conducting the autopsy right now, shouldn't that body not be here? Well... Hmm. I suppose so. I guess they must still be investigating this room. Meaning that it's possible he doesn't know about that piece of evidence's true nature. Anything else you'd like to chit-chat about? No? Good. Now let's continue. It was supposed to be in the Steel Samurai's dressing room, but I found it here instead. Larry has already testified that he forgot the samurai sword here. Yeah! I was shaking hands with the ambassador in here, and I got le it got left behind by mistake. So what? You lied earlier, so who's to say that this excuse isn't just another lie? But I forget stuff all the time! Right, Edgy? Tell him! Why don't you tell him yourself? You see? What did I tell you earlier? No one will buy such a pathetically weak excuse. Yes, well... I know that it's not possible to prove such an excuse as truth. And yet you offer it up as fact? You're a worse person than I originally thought! You are free to think what you like. However, I know that Larry's not the killer. Agent Lane, please continue with your argument. I'll expose the flaw in it soon enough. Plus, I found the murder weapon's owner, the suspect Larry Butts, in here, too. Just because he's the owner of the weapon, therefore, he must be the killer, is it? No! Climbing all the way up to the chimney is plenty suspicious in my book as well. Regarding that, I have already drawn the truth out, and the truth is one thing I don't bend. It doesn't matter if it's you or whoever. You prosecutors are all the same. Do you know how many times you update the autopsy reports to suit your need? Oh my gosh. And as for me, prosecutors are the one thing I don't trust in. There's a video that keeps getting recommended for me where it's like, when your autopsy report is out of date, and it's just like Edgeworth on the cover like... <laughs> Wow. I don't- I'm not gonna watch it in case if there's spoilers, but I'm curious if you see it. If it's like 15 seconds, probably not. No, I don't think it's like 15 seconds. It's probably like a weird dubstep music video, like, yeah. when your autopsy's out of report, it's like... <laughs> probably. An agent who doesn't trust prosecutors? What are you playing at? Sorry, sis. But there are only two things I trust. My subordinates and evidence at the crime scene. Agent Lane hates prosecutors. But as long as he trusts evidence that has been left at the crime scene, then there is something I can show him that you all can believe in. It's simply not possible that the samurai sword is the real murder weapon. So I should focus on proving that to point to the Agent Lane. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's beat to death. Um, isn't it made of rubber? I don't know. It's hollow. That's the samurai it's not, spear. It's not... It's not that, um, heavy. No, it's not. I think it's that. Well, yeah. it's going. Do you know what this is, Agent Nine? <laughs> it's a long spear, right? We used to throw a lot of those in my country a long time ago. Piercing, mowing people down, spears are the weapons of heroes throughout history. Where is Lang from? Zhang Fa. Where's Zhang Fa? It's a oh, fake that country. Where, That's that where, where Zig LeBlanc was from. <laughs> Okay. The weird time guy. So they're from that country. Maybe Sheena. Where the counterfeit bills are going. Maybe as well. Sheena, aka um, Mystic Mew. I can't think Molesto of Molesto Mew. Molesto Mew. <laughs> no, that's a different person. Callisto that's literally Callisto Mew. Maybe Callisto like, Mew like, fled to that country and was like, I'm going to make bank. And like makes a new life for bills. her. Makes her like new life for herself. Gets hired in this like secret agency type thing. And then like she and Lang are like. All right. All right. Yeah. I wonder if there's, like, a thing between them two. Like, like think, um, Mirage and There was Sino. not a thing between them. They weren't, like, romantically involved. Weren't they? I thought they were. No. The, the, he's weak to power. Like, he's weakness to power. It's something we both share. Like, that whole thing? With Mr. Incredible a little bit. Not with Syndrome. No, with Syndrome. I thought... No, they're I not thought... dating. Did I just ruin Incredibles for you? <laughs> no, but I thought... I thought they were... Like, that's that's a probably like a, that's probably like a fan theory. Oh, maybe I don't know, but uh, she doesn't like Mister Incredible. She knows that he has a wife and he has kids, right? And stuff. Anyway, it's the next most effective weapon after the whip. I think the whip is in a slightly different category. So what's your point? Are you going to tell me that the spear is the real weapon? No, I simply want you to take a look at this section here. The way it's bent. 
Precisely. Apparently a certain troublemaker hit it against a wall in this embassy earlier. And as you can clearly see, the insides of the Steel Samurai's weapons are hollow. In other words, they're replicas that aren't strong enough to deliver a damaging blow. Let alone the multiple strikes necessary to bludgeon someone to death. And yet the, there is not even a single dent in the Samurai Sword. How do you explain that? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the sword and spear are made of the same stuff, so they bend easily. But I wish they'd make them out of better stuff, because the spear got bent. I wasn't able to do my early <laughs> special early summer rain jab move. Man, I got such an earful from the director of, of the uh, play for not doing it in the show. Oh, you'd get an earful. The Steel Samurai special move was changed tonight because of him? <laughs> Samurai Spear Data up to- Oh, what, yeah. What you know doing? that's going to be important later on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> got updated specifically to say that because he bent it, Larry couldn't do the early summer rain jab special attack. It'll probably show up for Old Bag if she has another testimony where she's like, I remember everything, even though my hip hurt. <laughs> That's more than enough of your whiny whimpering. Now, back to the topic of the spear. Yes, let's return to the real topic of discussion. This is where the real gamble begins. I don't have a real strategy, per se. So all I can do for now is let the chips fall where they may. Using guesswork and taking risks is a pl in place of real logic is hardly the Von Karma way. It's neither smart nor very clever. Miss Von Karma, as you know, unlike your father, I am not a genius prosecutor. Plus, I doubt his record of a 40-year win streak will ever be broken. But perhaps it is for the best if it remains unbroken. <laughs> for no one could should have conceived of the notion to convict all defendants in the first place. Franziska has allergies, confirmed. <laughs> what a foolishly foolish statement from a foolishly foolish who hates to lose. She's allergic to the baby birds right next to her. <laughs> Maybe. Or what would Francis could be allergic to? Lavender. Because <laughs> it relaxes people. <laughs> She's like, I hate relaxing stuff. Like, Jasmine. In reality, like, her not father, like the, her not father the plan, goes but... to the spa and he's like, I love the mud scrub. And she's like, oh, it makes me, like, break out hives every single time. It's the job of a prosecutor to make sure that all defendants are found guilty in court. There's nothing more important in this world than a perfect victory. That may be your opinion. However, I don't believe that's all we are. As a prosecutor, what I pursue is not the perfect victory, but the perfect truth. And if that means that the bridge I must cross will crumble beneath my feet, then let it crumble as I walk on towards the truth. You're good at keeping me entertained, Mr. Prosecutor. But you know, humans are delicate creatures. The slightest bump and we expire. I'd like you to consider, if you will, the possibility that the sword was used in such a way that the attack killed Damask too without bending it. I thought Larry's last testimony was going to be where the to be continued is. No. So, what do you think of my hypothetical scenario? I think you know what to do here, right? And what you need. Of course, what I need is evidence even Agent Lane can't refute. This is it. It's time to bring this to a close. Stop got it, Lane! Stop it! <laughs> Why we, can fin we can finish Lane and then it'll be to be continued. And there might be another one! We're already at the hour mark! It's fine. No, I think we need to end after all this right, one. Alright, alright. It's possible to use the samurai sword to kill someone. And under these circumstances, it's the only logical conclusion. He bends it one way, so then bends it the other way perfectly back. <laughs> no. We search the embassy top to bottom, but the victim's blood is only on that this, weapon. A weapon isn't like those rulers that you could be like, bend the ruler. <laughs> Do you remember those? Yes. Those were so popular when we were kids. So isn't it only natural that suspicion she would fall on the owner of said weapon? Okay, it's only free. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. How long do you intend to clean onto this preposterous theory? As long as I want, because we examined every corner within the walls of this embassy. There's no stone we've left unturned. And we have managed to come up with only one logical conclusion. That the only place inside this embassy with the victim's blood on it is this sword. You left no stone unturned? Is that a fact? If you've got something to say, then say it in the only way I respect, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes, of course. In that case, allow me to make it all crystal clear for you. Do it, so Edge. you think it's the Primadu statue that has that was the? I weapon? think it's that. It's Either possible. That or, I know that they switched the swords from the embassies. They switched the. 
Remember they switched the sword? Oh, the knife yeah, blades. The knife, the knife blades. blades, yeah. May I inquire as to how you were able to make such a claim, Agent Lane? Lane Z says, capable of miracles beyond comprehension, a mysterious creature is man. Rather than man, it's Agent Lane quotes that are getting increasingly incomprehensible. The human body is a mysterious thing, even with a toy-like sword. It's easy to kill a man if you hit just the right spot. Which is why I think it's possible to kill with this fiend without leaving a dent. But we can only be sure of one way or the other by s seeing if the wound matches the sword. <laughs> I know that. But as long as it's a possibility, I can proclaim it as much as I'd like. But if we're to proclaim anything that's a possibility, then he says no. I see how it is. But you must know that your conclusion is wrong! Given the circumstances I'm in, the only people I can trust are my subordinates. Because they're a much more trustworthy bunch than you prosecutors will ever be. Ouch. And you call yourself a professional? You still don't see, do you, Mr. Prosecutor? You have to earn my trust. And the only way to do that is to show me proof of another possible murder weapon. I mean, I agree, trust has to be earned. Another possible weapon? In this room, there's only one other thing left. This is going to be a gamble, and I can't withdraw from the game now. You're not going to get me to trust you by the power of your glare alone, you know. Plus, I have other reasons as to why I think the Steel Samurai Sword is the murder weapon. We searched the embassy top to bottom, but the victim's blood is only on that weapon. The only place where you could find blood was on the samurai sword. That's right, even with Luminol. Which means that there are no other possibilities outside of what I've already outlined. Do I have a problem with Agent Lane's assertion that the samurai sword is the weapon? I have an objection. Well, we'll, we'll come back there in a bit. Okay. Hmm, perhaps I should wait and see how this plays out for a bit longer. Agent Lane, if you could be so kind as to continue for testimony. Why should be as so kind as to <laughs> give me all your money? <laughs> yes. Is it an only natural suspicion would fall into him? Oh, I accidentally pushed the uh, okay, speed up button. Oh, that would have been bad. And what is it? Would you? What if you were able to find a different murder weapon? Would that clear Larry's name? Are you saying you can prove the possibility? Of course. And if you don't believe that I can, then I'll show you something to convince you. Evidence that you cannot refute. <laughs> Sounds like fun, Mr. Prosecutor. All right then, go ahead and show me what you got. I can prove to you the possibility that the murder weapon is something else. But I cannot do it with on my own strength. Miles Edgeworth, what are you running straight into a guagmire? Qu quagmire. Oh, quag. I thought it said gua. What are you running straight into guacamole for? <laughs> I thought that Q was a G. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Dang it. I thought you said that you were busy in pursuit of the perfect truth. And if that's the case, then show me this perfect truth, if it exists at all. Don't worry. Thanks to you, I've already prepared myself to do just that. There's no need to thank me. I'm simply doing what any good superior would. <laughs> I suppose you are. I have the hiccups. <laughs> Very well, then. I will show you the possibility of a different murder weapon. I mean, imagine Edgeworth with hiccups. Mrs. Oldbag would die. She'd be like, he's so cute. <laughs> I believe, if you believe that there is no other door of possibility left to open, then allow me to force one open for you. <laughs> and how do you plan to do that? By showing you what may possibly be the real murder weapon. Ha! <laughs> it's hard to laugh. I, it makes me hiccup every time I do that laugh. It's the worst. The real murder weapon? I hate to repeat myself, but my men have already searched every last inch of this embassy. And they've concluded that nothing else could have been used as the weapon. Knowing these facts, do you still want to press forward with your little hypothesis? Heck yeah. Of course. Because it's not possible that your men inspected everything in the investigation. No, I gotta cure these hiccups. This is driving me insane. What are you talking about? I don't appreciate mind games, and I don't appreciate it when you people like you slander my men. I'm not slandering them, I assure you. I'm merely pointing out that their investigative dragnet has a few holes in it. Namely, that there is something your men couldn't even lay a finger on. And that item is the real murder weapon. Oh, right then, I'll play along for now. This real weapon that killed Damask too. What exactly is it? The real murder weapon, which not a single person is yet to touch, is this. Oh, which a single person is not yet to touch? Uh, I guess it's the statue, because... 
No one can touch the This is the weapon you're looking for. Lane Z says one should always perform one's job in the proper manner. And I can't see how it's proper to show me evidence so devoid of potential or relation. Ah, was I mistaken? Wait, you showed the Babal one, it's the other one. Okay, you are way smarter than me because on my first playthrough I had to present like every single piece really? of evidence to do this. Oh no, that one- Because I'm like, oh, it's the Primidus statue and I presented the Babal's one. I'm like, guess it's not the Primidus statues. No, there's two different ones. I, I know, that. I just presented the wrong one though. Oh. I'll give you one more chance, but only one more, you got that? Because that's all the playtime I've got. Playtime is over! That's where having two statues is confusing. The National Treasure of Alabast. You mean the Primidu statue? Yes, and as you know, only the Ambassador and his Secretariat may touch it. Which I believe means that neither you nor your men were able to examine it, correct? <laughs> you know very well that if we did that, there'd be an international incident. Between the Kingdom of Alabast and the Republic of Babal, the two countries' precarious relationship teeters in the balance over a stupid fight related to sovereignty statues. But I'll be damned if I let something go unexamined. Agent Lane, if you could take a look at this. The direction of the statues facing just before and after the crime are different. And there's only one conclusion I can draw from that. Go look for Ambassador Alba and get him to give us the okay to examine the statue. Shifu, you can't listen to the infidel's words! He's most definitely trying to trick you! Shifu, please, let's be rational about this! <sighs> Lane Z says... Just go already! Yes, sir! Walks away. He looks like the human version of those Paper Mario guards from the second game that, like, take you to the battles. <laughs> Shifu! Yeah? I'm really sorry, sir, but I was unable to convince the ambassador. I was unable to obtain permission for us to examine the Primidu statue. <laughs> I see. Maybe the ambassador- Let's do it anyways. <laughs> Maybe the ambassador killed him. Wait! But then the investigation is at a standstill! Agent Lang, I will go and speak with the ambassador personally. Save your breath. He may act all weak and frail, but that old man's one tough cookie. But I guess you gotta be tough when Look you're representing the whole country, huh? She's twirling her little- Yeah. Her little whip. It's so cute. I mean, when Master Uguay makes a decision, he's not going back on that. Well, guess what? Agent Lane? What do you want? Let's just hurry up and examine the statue already. Well, but Shifu! What about causing an international incident? Quiet! I'll take the fall if I have to later. Okay. Cool. Agent Lane, the hypothesis is mine, so if someone is to take the responsibility, let it be me. No, Edgeworth! Responsibility? If we're going to talk in such heavy terms, maybe I should let you. It'd be a real problem for my men if something were to happen to me. Alright then, let's talk and more investigating. Ambassador walks in and is like, How dare you touch my statue? <laughs> it's not his voice. Well, that would have been the voice if I did it. <laughs> if we want to know the truth, we can't stop here. Action must be taken. Agent Lane, I'd like to run a luminol co- I'm not going to say that test on the statue. <laughs> <laughs> a luminol test? Ah, good thinking. If the statue's the murder weapon, then some of the victim's blood should be on it. Okay, let's get the forensics team in here. Okay, let's get the forensics team. Heh, <laughs> looks like you hit the jackpot, Mr. Prosecutor. Blood force trauma. I guess this head. means that this is the real weapon that killed the mask too. Indeed. But I wouldn't celebrate yet if I were you. This doesn't let your friend off the hook. It doesn't prove that he didn't kill the mask too, so the charge remains. We are hardly done examining the statue, Agent Lane. Knowing that it is the real weapon, I believe further examination is required. Does luminol smell? No. Is it like when you um put not? not Are we acid. going to have to split this into three videos? No, it'll be fine. Do so you think so? Okay then, knock yourself out. Da, 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 Master Alba's like you are so dead. Oh yeah. Hmm. Upon closer inspection, he really does look a lot like the Steel Samurai. <laughs> Maybe that's why they chose him to be the Goodwill Ambassador. That was Larry. Yeah. I thought that was Lane. No. No, that was Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why they chose him to be the Goodwill Ambassador. I actually can't discredit that hypothesis. Or maybe the people at the embassy just really, really like the Steel Samurai. That's absolutely preposterous. I don't think it's that unlikely. We mustn't go in around denouncing people's opinions. <laughs> and yet, look at how easily you discredited mine. 
Not that I care why they chose him. Look at his back. Babies. A handprint? <laughs> what do we have here? This dirty smudge. It looks like a handprint. <laughs> 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 what a defi what's a definitive bit of evidence like you doing under here? Looks like we've got some fingerprints to analyze. Arrgh. I think just doing Agent Lane's laugh gives me the hiccups. I actually think that's the case. Oh, okay. Gosh. Please don't die. Worst case scenario, these prints belong to Larry. But it looks like it's too late for me to do anything about that now. I think now. you, like, laugh so hard that, like, your body goes into hiccup mode. Hey, Forensic Scott, I want the results of these fingerprints ASAP. You hear me, Larry's- It looks so cool, I just had to touch it. <laughs> Agent Lane, I have the analysis results, sir. Good, and? Sir, about the prison we lifted from the bottom of the statue. Well, um, you know the victim of the murder in the ba Babylese Empire? The prince belonged to him, Mr. Manny Cochin, sir! Who is he there? But that's... What's going on around here? He went through the fireplace. No, that's impossible. It's not impossible. Each primitive statue can only be handled by someone of that country. But by the very fact that Mr. Cochin's fingerprints are on this one... Oh my gosh, they swapped the statues. You think so? They... <laughs> this is so insane. The murder? Okay. They said, holy crap, we need to make this as confusing as humanly possible. Takes the statue, carries it through the fireplace passageway, and swaps it with the Babal one. The fireplace doesn't connect to Babal. I know, but it connects out of that room, so that way that if there's like a guard outside of the ambassador's room, they can get past it. They switched the sword from the other room into this one. And the statue switched. I've got to cure the hiccups. Yeah, bro, just don't laugh like that. When you die from laughing so hard. I mean, it's not as hard of a laugh as when we did putt putt, but. I can't breathe. you gonna do when the chips down? Now the chips are down. What you gonna do when the chips are down? You have like nothing in these drawers. You like put anything. I used to, but then I got the entertainment center. Yeah. Okay. Hiccups cured. <laughs> it leads me to only one conclusion. This statue is actually Babal's primitive statue. I got it! Impossible! It can't be! Uh, ah, yeah. I was totally right. Larry never once set foot on Babali's soil, so he was let get free. However, this new piece of information only served to confuse us even further. They swapped them. The ring leader of a smuggling operation was killed with an al alabastian knife in Babal. Maybe they swapped bodies. That's Maybe. actually Manny Cochin? <laughs> No, like they, like they said, oh, here we go. Oh, oh they just they swapped, swapped the locations. They swapped where the locations were. And Damask too was killed on Alabastian soil with a Babali's natural treasure. And the mystery of the great Fifi Yadagarasu who visited both countries. It looks like that bird from uh, Kirby. It's big bird. No, you know like Kirby Spring Breeze and Kirby Dinoblade? Sure. From, from uh, Kirby Superstar. And Air Ride. And Air Ride, but yeah, Dinoblade. It looks like Dinoblade. Stupid Dinoblade. Stupid Dinoblade who, like, <laughs> stamps on you. No, we couldn't get him to land on us. That's the problem. Oh, that too. The pieces were there, but I had yet to see the big picture they were to form. That took forever. That did. I forgot how many testimonies Agent Lane has. That's fine. Two. We can split that into two episodes. It'll be yeah, fine. we don't have to do that into free. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. I actually totally forget what happens next in the case. This and is kind of the part of the case where I don't really remember what happens next. Next case so. opens up and it's the guy from um, Crystal Chronicles and they start reading, and then we went to the place. <laughs> Basketball Boy Returns. Basketball Boy Returns. Aw, oh, that would be so bad. I just, oh, by the way, so one of the YouTubers I follow, Lukajin, just started playing that, this game. Oh, this and game? So, and so she was playing for the first case. I didn't realize until recently that his pun is not, is the pun on his name is Jacques Portsman, Jack's Sportsman. Because he plays basketball and all these sports. Oh, I, yeah, no. Eh. It's not.
I like basketball more than better though. Best Anyhow, hope to see you next time. Tune in again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless.